Hi, I'm Lee Williams, a gun writer at the Herald Tribune, and we are out at Ancient Oak Gun Club in Lakewood Ranch, Florida, along with two-time world champ sporting clay shooter Bill McGuire. Bill, I understand you just got back from Worlds not too long ago. Yep, yep. And how many shooters were there? Uh, I'm thinking seven, eight hundred. And yep. you came in? Second. Congratulations. Thank that is much. unbelievable. Thank unbelievable you. shooting. Um, we're going to ask you, we're going to ask a world-class chef for his recipes here. Can you show me a couple of tips or a couple of mistakes that most beginning sporting clay shooters do and then how to cure them? Sure. sure. Good. And then we'll get into a couple of advanced tips if you don't mind, sir. Sure. We can do that. Perfect. Want to step over here to a cage? Love to. All right. Come on. There's two things I see a lot of the beginners do that, that gets them in a little trouble is uh, not a good visual connection on the target early okay. enough, you know, being consistent where they see the target. And probably the most common thing I see them do is bad gun position. Okay. Okay. And what I mean by that, and we'll throw a target, and I don't know if we can get a, a picture of the target, but say the target line is up here. Most of them, we're guns empty, so we're, we're safe here, but we'll start the gun too low. Okay. Way too far under the target line. So a little better gun position little better visual connection on the target earlier okay makes breaking these birds a little easier we're starting here I'm going to try to get the muzzle up on that target line a little better okay and then good visual connection on the target when it comes out of the machine okay pull okay pull the better we get set up the more efficient we become okay. no wasted gun motion Okay, what's another mistake? That, no, I'm, I'm fine, sir. Okay. <laughs> what's another mistake you're seeing? Uh, probably uh, panic. Okay, yeah. I got plenty of that. Sure, sure. And, and what happens there, you know, a lot of times with beginning shooters is muzzle too close to where they're seeing the target. Okay. And that causes that panic, or we got to hurry as soon as we see the target. So, you know, I like to attack the target line okay. and get away from the machine a little bit with our hands. So what? we got time to see the bird and, and react to it when it gets to our hand. Pull. Pull. Real good. Pull. Pull. Pretty, Danny. Pretty. That's it. Connected. Good. What are some of the uh, uh, tips that uh, more advanced tips that a, a, a seasoned shooter? Sure, sure. And, and I've put a lot of emphasis here again. It goes back to that target line. Okay. You know, I'm very, very specific in target line. I want that muzzle exactly in the way of that target. And there again, you know, uh, the, 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 probably the the biggest thing that we that we don't do is finish the shot visually. We've got to learn to to look at the bird. And I always use uh, the reference of a clock, you know, whichever way that target's moving, I can relate that to a number on the face of a clock. And, and that is another mistake that, that a lot of the advanced people and I make, you know, myself, is looking at the target where we need to be looking at it when we shoot it. Okay. So okay. those are a couple things, you know, very, very fine tuned setup and great visual finish on the target. Okay. That's, that's probably two of the, the, the things that probably get us in the most trouble. Okay. You know, even the advanced shooters. So, well, that's perfect, and that's very appreciated. But we really appreciate you sharing some of your world-class recipes oh, with you're us. You're more than welcome. Well, let's do us one. Okay, we'll Rather than me missing a true pair. Okay. Pull. I could watch that all day. <laughs> thank well, you, thank sir. You. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.